Good boy, Rufus. This is a story about John Marsden. Not John Marsden, the family man. John Marsden, the alcoholic. Good morning. Another day on this earth, eh? John felt underappreciated and ignored. He did a lot of the work. It seemed he was the only one doing the work on the farm. And a lot of those frustrations led him to the bottle. One day, after a long, hard look in the mirror, John decided to tell Abigail that he was leaving, and he was sorry. <sighs> Wake up. What is it? Sorry. John, I'm tuckered out. And with that, he hit the bottle, packed his bags, and headed to Blackwater for supplies. Don't speak to me. There's no need to be so undignified. Didn't I say don't speak to me? Just stop it! Move, you sack of shit! You see, John Marsden had come to Blackwater looking for a fight. But there weren't enough fights to be had here. John was on his third whiskey. He yeah. overheard these fellas talking about sure. Negroes in not such a kind manner. Give me some oh, drink. Trying to keep my head above water. John tried to block it out with alcohol that it only fueled the fire thing, a little bit more. You look like you could use one more. Down his fifth shot of whiskey. He thought he'd better have one more. Before he started looking for trouble again. A few of these will make any day a good day. Hear that Laramie gang's got hold of most of West Elizabeth. My God. No wonder the country's gone to shit. What did I do to you? You're in the way! Goodness gracious, I like this. Are you a man? You sure? Ain't no way to talk to folk. Real clever, are you? Quit hassling me, dang it! Oh, it's like that, is it? John knew he wasn't going to get a fist fight in town. The only fight he was going to fight was from the law with guns and bullets, where he'd either end up in a grave or in a jail cell. He decided now was a good time to head off out of Blackwater to cool down. He thought maybe heading up to tall trees would be the way to go. Maybe there he could find a friend.
jackals from hell. The screams! Something awful. It's all right. You're... All right, they're all gone. Just go to sleep now. Oh. It's over. You there? You there? I, I, I'm coming. Running across this family, murdered in cold blood, their blood shed across the ground. John worried about his family. As much as he felt despised by them and not appreciated. He couldn't help but worry about them, so he decided to head home and see if they were okay. Rufus boy! And of course his trusted friend Rufus, man's best friend, was the first to greet him. Showed some attention to the horse, another trusted ally in his life. and then headed inside. He could hear Abigail talking and, and Jack. So he headed inside to see what was going on. Oh, you ain't that way. No, 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 I, I, I guess it ain't. Just listen to this, all right? Frank Heck, Frank Heck looked at the sheriff cold. Clearly, you don't know who I am, he snarled. And before the sheriff could blink, the fastest young man west of the Grizzlies had filled him full of cold lead. The town was free once more. <laughs> Who writes that nonsense? Ed son? Yeah, I know. Is it good for him having his head filled with stories? You ain't got one story in your head, and look how you turned out. Yeah. Wait. Huh? Don't mind me. All right. Nothing but silence. And little jokes at his expense. This is the life John was wanting to run away from not being appreciated and respected. He decided he'd try and go and say goodnight to the boy, seeing as Abigail wasn't very talkative. But Jack just shot him a deathly cold stare, and the words couldn't form in John's mouth. He had a lot of thinking to do right now. Does he stay the man he is and suck it up with the family? Or does he run away forever? <laughs> <laughs> 